Hi everybody, it's um, Saturday the 6th, January 2018. I just wanted to share a small dollar store haul with you today um, and to say hello. Um, it's kind of boring. Um, it is about minus 10 out right now and minus 25 with a wind chill. And when you get those little snow flakes coming at you in that wind, it's um, chilly. Um, Let's start with some mundane stuff, I guess. I only bought a few things at the dollar store. I got, um, I usually don't really show food on here because it's like, you know, unless it's something new or uh, like if they have a name brand, you know, that's, um, I'm lactose intolerant, so I love the soy milk there. Um, it's 32 fluid ounces. I'm not sure exactly what's in half a gallon. I'm not sure if it's 64 ounces, if it's double the size, but I mean for a dollar because I eat, and it's pretty good. I use it in cereal and everything. Because um, I used to buy even the cheaper version at Hannaford's or whatever supermarket um, was like $4. So, I mean, for a dollar. Um, yeah, and the other things were just kind of, you know. Um, I found these thanks to Twyla's mom, Lisa. Um, they're the scrubby pads. I saw a video. I don't know if she did it last year. I've been watching your guys' videos kind of like I've been off for the last five days and I haven't really felt like going out too much. I went shopping and stuff like that and with my mother the other day, but, you know, pretty much staying inside cleaning and stuff. Um, but they have the scrubby. There's hard water here, so it's sometimes it gets brown no matter what you use, what chemicals. So she showed that it has the soft side and the and it doesn't feel too bad, so I don't think it's going to... Um, scratch the porcelain because you know you don't want to do that then. Um, I found this at work. We use stylus. We have a computer system we have to do now. So I found this and actually has the pen with it. I have other stylus too but I thought this was kind of cool. Um, the pen actually comes down. The stylus is there so you just you know like you're writing. Uh, then they had some of the St. Patrick's Day stuff out too. I found I bought showed you guys I hauled the um, the uh, Valentine's ones the other day. Uh, these ones have the shamrocks on them. I know some people say that it's too early or they think it's too early to get some of this stuff for the holidays, but you know, if you see it at the dollar store, you have to buy it or it could be gone the next day. So, and I like to get, I like, like I've told you guys before, I like sending cards and I get them for my nephews and stuff too. And I love the dollar store for that, for the two for a dollar. So I grab them there. It's like even if it's two or three months ahead of time and I just put them away. But I got these, I don't know if I'm using them for that little shadow box thing I showed you guys to change out for the holidays or, you know, I just picked them up because now that they're there. Um, and then I found a new book. Um, it's called Farmed and Dangerous, A Local Foods Mystery. I told you guys I like, um, it's my favorite book. It's like, you know, our, uh, the Cozy Mysteries. Now, I always love the artwork on these, whether they're the, the hardbacks or the, they just look cozy, you know. And I told you, someone gets murdered, which isn't cozy, but, <laughs> you know, there's no gore and stuff like that. And, you know, it's usually a woman sleuth, you know, or kind of like a Jessica Fletcher type person that comes along and solves the mystery. I was lucky to find that there. Sometimes I can find two or three of them at once, but I only found this one today, so I was happy. They had two, two of the same ones, but... I know, it's like my children. I love to read. <laughs> uh, I picked up this today. It says, Feeling Mermazing. Just a notebook with lined paper. Uh, and I found these stickers, too. They only had the one. I think they're really pretty. Uh, I'm thinking it's for, um, what do they call it? The Happy Planners. But it had the skeleton keys, which I love. I collect those. The hello, the flowers. There's a bee. I'm not really into bees and bugs and stuff like that, unless they're a little cute, you know, um, ladybugs and stuff. I know some people are into the spiders, and, you know, not me. <laughs> like, I wouldn't really, I don't think I would use that bee for anything. You know, it's too kind of creepy. But yeah, it's got the little pencils. I don't know if you can see what they say. I think it's just one. Oh, that's cute. It says jot it down. I wish they would have had more of these. I like the little pencils and the keys. They might have more in. Like I said, sometimes you go in there and there's just a lot. Uh, and let me see. I think that's all. And I picked up another one of these and I got my mom one. 
too. It's another one of those. The last two they had, the um, the bill payment thing with a folder. Um, I was thinking the other day that you could do something else with this. Or actually, it wasn't me. <laughs> I was watching a video. Um, I hadn't seen her before. I can't remember her name. But if I can, I'll list it below. But she had mentioned, she had hauled these too, and she had mentioned about um, doing coupons. I've never really been a big couponer. Sometimes, you know, it costs more with a coupon than so. But she had mentioned for some people, if you do couponing, where you can put your coupons in here, you know, it comes with January and stuff. That way you can just throw them away as they expire, which I thought was a good idea. I was also looking, but I forgot to, when I was there, you know, you get in the zone and you're looking at other stuff. I was watching one of um, Virginia uh, V. Connor 7-Eleven's videos last night, and she had a few, I should have wrote them down, I need to start writing stuff down. She, she had a few good ideas. Well, she always has good ideas, but I really like these. I'm new at this, obviously. And um, I haven't received my first friend mail or anything yet, but when I do, um, she had mentioned she had bought a map. Um, I don't know if it was the Dollar Tree or she just got it somewhere. And she mentioned about marking off, you know, like where her new friends are that have sent her friend mail and stuff like that. And I thought that was kind of cool. You know, of course, I'd want to get a uh, tag board behind it. <laughs> you know, whatever they're called. I can't even think of the name today that you know you don't want to put tons of holes in the wall so yeah and um, I can't think but there was another idea or two that she had that I really liked that would p pertain to me you know some things you know pertain to other people but these were like all oh, that you know um, yeah I also just want to thank you guys for you know the people I've met so far you've been great and you know you've helped me with this channel and it's kind of weird when, you know, saying channel, like when I hear people on YouTube saying, oh, my channel, it's kind of like we're TV stars or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's like I've been less lonely. I think I've told you guys before I'm single and stuff like that. Um, and especially this time of year, it can get depressing. I have family and stuff, of course, not, you know, thank God. But I'm such a homebody, too. It's hard to meet anybody. I know people say, oh, you need to get out more and stuff like that. But it's hard. I don't, you know, I've never done drugs. I've never even tried pot or anything like that. I don't really drink. I mean, I would go out with friends and I'd have a beer or two, you know, if I went out. But, I mean, I don't really, you know, I know people say you don't have to go out and drink. But, you know, in this day and age and with some people, you know, that's kind of the thing to do if you're going to go out, you know. But, you know, it's been an outlet. And uh, I've kind of turned my bedroom into a craft room. It, this is kind of my little haven, even though I have three bedrooms here, and there's a dining room, and a family room, and a um, living room, and the kitchen, and the two bathrooms, and um, this is kind of my, you know, thing, especially in the winter here. I mean, the furnace works great here. It's a brand new furnace, but, you know, I like the little extra heat, <laughs> so I come in my room, I'll close the door, and um, turn on my little heater, and I have my big TV over here, but the other day, I went out to my garage. My mother and I like to have some garage sales in the summertime. Because, like I said, we buy so much, and, you know, like you guys, you buy these little things at the dollar store, you go to thrift stores, but, you know, eventually, you know, unless you really want to become a hoarder, you have to get rid of stuff. Unlike, you know, with the stickers and everything, you can put those in boxes and make them look nice. That's not quite hoarding, is it? <laughs> but, yeah, I went, I have a bunch of these tables. I went out and got one yesterday. I took it out. Brought it in, it's so much easier to unfold and, you know, watch my television and stuff. But I've been crafting and stuff, and it's like, I feel like I'm actually, you know, I got stickers over there and just all this other, you know, stuff. You know, I know it sound, maybe sounds corny, but it's, I feel like you guys have brought something to my life. I'm like, oh, I'm going to make this for so-and-so, or I'm just going to make this to have in case I make a new friend later. And, you know, with the pocket letters, at first, the first one I did, I was kind of like, oh, you know, it's like it was kind of generic. You know, I just cut the papers and put stickers and added little things to it. Um, but it's like now I feel like, you know, it's like, oh, I'm, you know, making this for so-and-so or just doing, you know, whatever, or even with you guys with the paper clips and, you know, just gluing things onto them. It's like, oh, you know, it's like even just simple little, you know, like I've made these, you know, just the, uh, flowers, you know, it's like, it looks so simple and stuff, but it's like, oh, I just add something to the paper clip and, you know, to send it kind of, you know, and, um, because I had got the, this string of ribbon. I thought it had come 
when the package, I thought it had come like by the piece or whatever, but it's actually a string. I mean, if you want to make a pillow or whatever, you could, but I've been, just been cutting them off and doing that to paper clips. And um, let me see. Uh, I've been doing some pocket letters. Um, I've sent a few out. I made a couple more. I just wanted to see what you guys think. I know you kind of want to surprise the person when you send them, but I kind of just want to see if, how you guys think I'm coming along. Um, I haven't really put anything into these yet until I know who I'm sending to. This one, I yeah, obviously, it's like I want to send it to Virginia. But yeah, I haven't really put anything into them. I'm just kind of done the basics. So I want to know what you guys think. I know you guys use like the craft paper and you use the paper pads. I have a few of those. You know, I picked up at Michael's actually. I thought they were all Christmas ones. But I guess I got one other Christmas one, a big one here. And then I got, you know, this one, plain one, which is good. Because I can use that now all year. And I got a small Christmas one here too. But I know you guys like to use those, but I also like to, um, I've found like, you know, if I do a theme or whatever you guys call it, a theme, you know, for one, I found pictures online and stuff like that that I like. So I just print those out. I don't, I hope that's not cheating. I mean, I still cut them out and everything, but, you know, then sticker and put little things in. But I did this one and I started this one for Virginia. I want to know what you guys think. Um, if I'm on the right track, I just did a little, I like hanging the little things from them. I don't know why, but it's just a little um, peacock. You know, the whole theme is pink peacock. I cut it out and I put it on the back of um, an index card. So you would have some. Um, that says peacock symbolize new beginnings in the eternal life. These are the three sheet pockets. I tried to buy some at Michael's before. I think these are, I think I did get these at Michael's, but they're the only kinds they have. These things are hard to find for the picture albums. I guess everybody's going digital now, so I'm not sure, you know. Here's the back sign. Then I did the purple washi tape. Now I know what I'm doing with washi tape, some of it. I mean, I'll do, you know, I want to do a lampshade too and stuff later. But, you know, when I first started getting washi tape and everybody's like, washi tape, washi tape. You know, I, you know, when I watched their videos and I'm like, what do you do with all the tape? And then it's like, oh, okay. Like on cards too, I want to start making cards. I like to find some card kits and stuff. But I see people, you know, they'll do their envelopes or the, you know, just plain cards. And they'll have um, some washi tape going, you know, as a border and then some stickers or whatever. Um... So yeah, that's that one. I'll fill it in later with some stickers or, you know, some kind of embellishments too. And I'll add, you know, little trinkets or, you know, whatever, pins, safety pins, any, you know, whatever. Um, and I also done this one. Done. Did this one. I'm not sure who it's for yet, but I told you guys, like, I love mason jar. I love anything country, chickens, um, you know just teapots and teacups and stuff like that. So I did this one. Um, I did add some stickers in here to some of it. Those were just uh, print out of three mason jars and I added the stickers for like cherries and strawberries and I think the oranges, you know, like orange marmalade and strawberry, you know. And then I did this one here. I did it kind of crooked. I like, you know, to make it look more rustic. Um, I just put friendship on there. You know, the mason jar was separate. And then I put in some heart um, stones. I'm not sure what they're called. And then this is just another printout. And on the back, I thought that was pretty for the three different color jars. I'm not sure who this one will go to yet. But. Then I just did the um, green and the white border. I might hang something from this. I might do grow grain ribbon, you know, because it kind of matches the country kind of um, mason jar feel. So I might do some grow grain ribbon or maybe some, um, I have bows or, you know, ribbon um, too. And then I have a stamp. So 
so I did some mason jar things to go with it. I, you know, put it in the pocket letter. These are kind of more milk bottle shape, but then behind there's more, there's the um, actual stamp of the jar. So I thought that'd be cute to add. I don't know what you'd use them for. You could use them for tags. I didn't put any holes in them. That way if someone wants to, or they can just use them for notes or whatever. Uh, yeah, but I think that's it. I just wanted to say hi. You know, like I said, I was bored. So, you know, I feel like I'm actually, like I said before, sitting here talking with you guys, having a cup of coffee. Um, yeah, and I also got into this planner thing here. I think, I, I don't know if I ever showed you guys that. I actually went and bought one at Michael's during Christmas when they were on sale. You know, I started to put stuff into it. You know, and I'll put, add stickers. I, you know, bought the stickers there, but... Um, St. Patrick's Day. Um, like I actually wrote, I actually sent sent a um, pocket letter out um, Friday the fifth, which was yesterday, to Lisa of Twyla's mom and Amy of Amy's got a glue gun. So I, you know, it's kind of I don't know, just something to write down. So I put in there, you know, what I sent, and when I sent it, I don't know why, it's just nice to, you know, I'm not a doctor or anything, so it's like pretty much, you know, work, you know, 3 to 11, and, you know, maybe a doctor's appointment now and then or something, so it's nice to actually see something <laughs> written in there that's fun and not just work or, you know, whatever, and I also did start putting bills in, in this, because there's actually the 30-month calendar, or 30-month I wish there was 30 months in a year. We'd live a lot longer. But actually, um, the 30 days, 31 day counter, whatever. And then it's got this here. So this part, you know, like the first, second, third, you know, you can write all the way down. I'm actually using for bills, even though I bought the other bill things now, which I'll probably use. But I also put bills in here, too. Um, that way, that's just bills. And then this stuff, the 31 day counter, it's work, too. But it also has some of the, the fun stuff, too, like sending stuff out. And if I get something, you know, friend mail from someone, you know, I might write it down like, oh, I got, some, you know, on this date. You know, it's just nice to look back and be like, oh, you know, they were thinking of me. I know I sound goofy, but, you know, hey, that's just me. Um, Once again, yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah, I've just been, you know, doing that yesterday. Like I said, it kind of even put my little trash thing down there. You don't realize how much, you know, scraps and stuff you get. Um, yeah, it's been fun. I'm glad I met you guys, and I hope I meet more people. But even if I just meet, uh, you know, the the core five people I've met so far, you know, I'm happy with that. I don't need a million YouTube followers or friends, you know. It's like five is, you know. Um, I almost want to call you guys my golden girls, but, you know my young golden girls but i don't want to if you, any of you guys ever watched the golden girls especially from the beginning you'll know there was a gay guy that was the first roommate i don't want to be that roommate because then i'd be gone in the first episode so <laughs> um but yeah i've you know it's been great meeting you guys and like i said i've been been binge watching some of your videos um virginia's and stuff like that she like i said she has some great ideas i will start writing things down because i did like that map idea she had and she had a couple other ideas to, oh, I, one of the other ones, it was about the, let me see here. It was about the bees, it was about the, uh, the die cutting, die cuts. She had an envelope, you know, the ones you can put coupons and stuff in from the dollar store. She had the small ones and she bought the big ones. And she um, talked about dividing those into those sleeves and stuff. I'll write more down, like I said, if I, as I watch people's videos and, you know, maybe someone will watch mine that does, hasn't watched theirs yet. Or, you know, or some of these are a year old, but I still, you know, find them. It's some, now it's like entertainment for me to watch you guys, you know, do your hauls and do your some of your projects and stuff. But yeah, she mentioned that. I don't I haven't bought a die cutter's machine yet. Like I said, I want to. And then I'll start getting more dies. I got one... Uh, let me see. I got one the other day. I know I was going to 
shut this video down in a second, but I keep blabbing. You can never find anything when you want it. Let me see. Maybe it's in here. Oh, yep, there it is. I got this one the other day. I had bought it and got in the mail, so I can't wait to use this. It almost looks like um, like a, the old bells, you know, the Christmas bells and stuff. It's got angels. I have, I don't know how many die cuts I have right now, probably five or six. I bought, I bought some of the crafting magazines. See the little angels on the clouds playing the instruments. Um, I bought on HSN, I ordered some of the crafting magazines. I got two and you get like some videos with them. You get like some freebies, I guess, you know, of course you're really paying for them with the price they charge, but you get some freebies. Like I got this one in one set. I've only got two books so far, two magazines. They kind of come out periodically, I guess. There was one in the spring. Um, Spectrum Noir. Adult coloring. And then on the other side, it's um, these are um, printables, like clip arts and stuff for parties. So I got that with one magazine, and I got this. Well, actually, um, like die cuts with one of these, the other ones I just showed you. And then this one was the... Uh, oh, that's it's called Crafters Companion Inspiration Magazine. Um, this is the one. I think this is the no. This is the first one I got. That was the second. This one, of course, you know the teacups and everything. When I saw that, I had to buy that. It has like a tea party one. You can do papers and. I think I just. I think it was. Yeah, Amy. I the um. The um pocket letter I just mailed out was for Amy. I did it in the tea thing. I used, you know, some of these and this one's more coloring stuff, tips and um, Oh yes. And I also found these. I'm not sure if you can see them. They're kind of dark. I used them when I was making Virginia stuff. They're peacocks. Let me see if I can take off that liner, if that makes a difference. You can see that I used them. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys clean these off after, or if you just continue stamping. I don't know if it bleeds through. I haven't, I'm not sure if anybody knows. I mean, do you guys clean these off after, or do you just leave them on, and, you know, does it matter? I have so much stuff. I really do need to start sorting stuff out here. Um, I got another one I was going to show you guys, but yeah, I also got this new one. It says it's flowers. It's got like the vine. Sorry if you guys can't see it. I haven't opened them yet. Um, and I got a Christmas one at Michael's. Uh, there was one other one. I can't find the other new one that I got. I got that one and I did get one other one. Maybe it's in this container too. I really do need to start sorting. <laughs> Um, no, I don't see it in there. I'm not sure what I did with it. Hmm. Well, I know it's around here somewhere. I'll have to show you guys next time. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing, and like I said, I just wanted to thank you guys um, for being my friend. <laughs> I know how pathetic does that sound, but it's true. Um, it hasn't been quite as lonely, especially 
um, you know, this time of year with the snow and the, ugh. Like I said, I have family and, you know, stuff, of course, and they live nearby, but, you know, when you're home alone, sometimes it still hits you, you know, kind of like, eh. <laughs> you know, the winter blues and the, you know, like I said, being single and the bills pile up and, um, you know, working and just, you know, the whole thing, so. But anyway, I'm sure some of you have felt that way before. Um, if you like my channel, please subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment below, and I will talk to you later.